Welcome, Pear Deck for the Math Classroom. This is video one, which is just an overview on how to take your Google Slides and make them interactive for your students. So to get to Pear Deck, well, first you need your Google Slides. So you got your slide deck. Then you're going to go up to Add-ons within Google Slides. And you're going to click here on Pear Deck for Google Slides Add-on and go to the right here. If you don't see this, you got to go to Get Add-ons, click on that, type in Pear Deck, and get the, the, the add-in, the add-on. So now I'm going to go here. I have the full version with the school site license. So you see Pear Deck pops up here. So where it says ask students a question, this is what I use mostly. With your, If you already have your slides ready to go, you just want to make them interactive, this is what I use. I just want to show you real quick, they do have templates, right? So beginning lessons, they got a plethora of different templates you can use there during the lesson. And you could just take those, their templates, and you can edit them. So that's something you can explore. They also have some for math. You go down to subjects, you click on math. They have some different math templates that you can use. And again, edit for the problem that you want to get. All right. But for me, I would like to take this slide here. Let's say if you want to make this a written response, right? You want to make this a written response, you click on text. And it goes adding interactive question. And then boom, that's it. So his students write their response right here. Okay, if I wanted to make it a whiteboard response instead and actually have them draw on the screen and put the minimum, the maximum, the Q1, Q2, Q3, I can make it a drawing slide. I just click on the draw, it really changes the slide for us. You decide you want to make a multiple choice questions, you want to make this into five different slides for each one and have the kids answer that way, you can make this into five multiple choice slides if you like. Okay, so you can do whatever you like to do. Once you're happy with your slide deck, you're going to go ahead and launch the lesson. So you hit start lesson up here. And it gives you the option for student pace or instructor pace. So uh, during the school year when I had students, I was doing instructor pace. So whatever slide I was on, the students were on, it changes it in the Chromebook for them. Uh, with my distance learning, I've been doing asynchronous, so I've been doing student-paced activity. If you're doing Zoom, by all means, you could be doing instructor-paced uh, during the Zoom sessions and then turn your slides into student-paced after you're done with your Zoom session for the students to go through those slides. Um, I can imagine what I'll be doing next fall when we're hopefully back with students in the classroom is I'll be doing both. I can see starting with instructor-paced class and then going through the slides I want to go through with the students and then having a plethora of slides that I want the students to work on. Boom, put in student pace for them. They work through it. All right, got two more minutes to work on your slides. Wrap up the slide that you're on. All right, we're bringing it back together. I put it back in instructor pace. I go back to the slide I want to look at. We can look at student responses, have a, have a discussion, all that beautiful stuff. All right, so for now, I'm going to just make it student paced. All right, and so what comes up here is cop I can copy the link. I have a bug in my system here. I can copy this link. I could share to Google Classroom. If I already have an assignment for Google Classroom, which a lot of times I do, I'll just copy the link and I'll and I'll put it as a link in my current assignment I have for Google Classroom. So you have that option. Uh, you can go to teacher dashboard and it gives you a code here, right? So Y-L-U-H-P. So you can ask the students to go to joinpd.com and enter that code. So students just go joinpd.com and enter the code Y-L-U-H-P. What I have been doing with distance learning is I've been giving them both. I give them the link and then I also go give them the joinpd.com and I give them the code each day. Uh, so they can have both options to get in. So now we are looking at student paste right now. So let me move this. So you see I can go through the slides, student paste. So here's a written response. They type in the response here. Here's a slide. Oh, this is a whiteboard slide. So they can decide how thick they want the pen to be. And then they can draw on here. Or if they want to do their diamonds to factor this, whatever. They can show you all their work. If they want to use text. They can type in here as well on the slide. So we'll look at that in another video. 
Um, but they just go through the slides. If I go back to your version, you have that ability to see what students are doing. So waiting for responses. If you have any responses, here's the one I was just scribbling on. If you had a whole class, you can imagine all the students are in here. I can see everybody's uh, thumbnail, how they're doing. I can click here and scroll through all of them. If I like something, I hit star, and that's going to be – I'm going to share that one out uh, with the class later on, or I can share out a number of them. Okay. So now one thing I want to show you here is – the hot dog down here, the three dots, you can name your sessions. So this is helpful to, you know, practice <clears throat> day one or whatever you want to name it. I am one uh, Monday, first period, or you have a date, however name system you want, and then you save that session. So then if you want to leave it, you can leave this session. And I can go to my Pear Deck dashboard. So Pear Deck dash, take me to my dashboard. And I want to be in this session. This is the practice day one. Leave the session. I can look at all my sessions here. Here's practice day one. I have all kinds of sessions here. If I need to go back and assume wants me to grade, I am to day 15 for second period. I can actually go into this class and pull up that student and, and look at their work. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. I will go into more details with the different interactive slides. You can pick and choose the videos that you want to look at.